Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another full game recap. I'm going to be rolling with the Chargers and Regs. This actually turned out to be just a lab game. Um, I was jumping into the Raiders playbook and building a scheme. I just wanted to go ahead and run this. I ended up going against the, the Denver Broncos, which is kind of a, a unusual team to see online. I guess the guy was from the Broncos. And he actually had a very good scheme. Knew his plays. Uh, he had a pretty diverse playbook, but he stayed in a lot of this uh, this pistol formation, uh, which I think is one of the formations that uh, is out of the uh, the Saints. Uh, and he did a lot of running, uh, and it really forced me to go ahead and lock the run. So I'd have to say this guy was really committed to running in playing this game. I was labbing a couple different things. So I was labbing offense and defense, and in particular I was labbing this blitz. I had some recent success against uh, against another um, uh, person with this blitz where the guy was having a hard time with it. Uh, so I went back into another game with this particular blitz, and the pressure really comes in hot off the edge right there, uh, and I was able to go ahead and get this guy down in a 4th and 12 situation. So I come into the cover two version of this particular blitz to kind of show him a cover two. Actually, no, I think this is just um, a, a a 43 under or 43 over, and I get a nice little pressure off the edge. The running back doesn't block, and I'm going ahead and get the ball right here. So I'm in a driver's seat right now. Um, he's, uh, you know, I got the ball. He went for a fourth and long situation in his own territory in the first quarter. That's not really a smart play to do. He tries to go and hits me with pressure off the edge. I'm able to dump it down to the running back. Uh, this is going to be a play that I'll be breaking down on my channel um, and how I actually use this scheme. Uh, there's, it's kind of funny in how when you start developing a scheme out of formation, how plays that you kind of put in as supplements actually turn out into, uh, into better plays. So now I jump into this little spacing play. I'm going to take the running back, I'm going to put him on um, a fly route, and um, I'm expecting some pressure, and I look for the tight end right over the middle, he's wide open, but look at this, he baits me and picks the ball off in the red zone right there in the end zone, and he actually gets the ball right back, so that was a great play by him, man, I did not see his guy, his guy, he was down on the line and just came up and actually just swiped that ball away from me, so hey, kudos to him, that was a really good play, and that's one of those things where you play someone for the first quarter or so, and you're thinking, okay, this guy's not that great or whatever, and then all of a sudden, they start kicking your ass because they start making adjustments and they start picking up your tendencies, so this guy was really 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 good uh, player and he, and he was pretty intelligent and didn't give up on the run man uh, I was really impressed with this guy where he just kept pounding the ball ran a lot of no huddle uh, right here I'm in cover four situation I'm just going ahead and playing around with this blitz out of this um, uh, 43 over um, uh, type formation he does a little uh, end around right here. Nice dot on the back end side. I had a lot of matching principles because I was in cover four. So I don't like cover four. I don't like the matching. I just I feel like it's just really bad against um, uh, most map pass plays. And you can really get burnt up, up deep. So right here I go into the cover two version of a blitz that was labbing around. And uh, my, my one guy actually comes in. He gets a nice little hole right there with, with Lindsay. He's able to get the ball up to, to a third inch of situation. Now I jump in the 43 normal which is the free sa the the, uh, the safety blitz formation. And look at the blocking his guys got. I don't know if he had um, guys out there uh, instead of wide receivers, maybe tight ends. I really can't tell. I'm looking right now. Uh, so, yeah, actually he beefed up his line. He actually had tight ends out there. So this guy was really pounding the ball. I'm assuming that Turner is probably another lineman right there. So this guy would just basically pound the ball against me. And it worked really well because he's, he's, he's getting a really good push off of it. So this guy had a scheme. He knew what he was doing. He put his speed on this, at Sanders, uh, and I think he had a line, another lineman at, at the tight end position. And right here, he actually dots me up and actually goes in and drops the ball right down uh, into uh, into the red zone. So up 7 to nothing. I'm getting the ball in the second half, so I'm not really nervous too much. And this is a little play that I like a lot. It's uh, it's uh, play action. Uh, actually, no, it's uh, the X uh, out and up play, and I, I like to go ahead and drop the guy uh, on, on the right-hand side. I like to put him a little drag off the side. I'm looking for the out and up, um, and I really couldn't take it, and I just didn't like the reads here, so I just got rid of the ball. Uh, I didn't re redirect any of my guys, but I just didn't like the reads right there, so I just got rid of the ball, lived to another down. So right here I went into the curls, and this wide receiver against cover two will get wide open um, in this route. So this is a this is a route that's really good against cover two. Now here's the gem of this formation. This is the Raiders split uh, the uh, Raiders uh, split back uh, formation, and that particular play right there, I actually I didn't block my guy. And I got stuck in play action, but you see I'm gonna come right back to it again. Watch the red route right here, Williams. 
This route is unbelievably money um, in this game right here. I'm able to go and just pop this against cover two, against cover three, cover four. It just gets open all the time, and it's going to force your man, man to mainly defend it. So it's going to open up your offense. So that's what, that's going to be a play I'm probably going to break down for my channel or my patrons. So we're going back to the curl flat right here. Um, I go ahead and try to dump it down right there. It actually gets some good pressure against me. So he's got basically nine guys in the box right there. So the box is completely covered up. I'm just continuing running. Actually going to the draw play, he falls back in the coverage right here. And I get nice blocking to get the ball down to uh, the 12-yard line right here. So go back into um, um, a formation. I'm just going to go and try to pound the ball right here. Just go run run the ball right up. I only get a couple yards, but I'm just trying to establish a run and chew the clock down. So get the ball down, down to the red zone right here. I'm down to the two-yard line. It actually takes a timeout. And I'm going to go ahead and look for the tight end in the back uh, back area because it's a third and two. I can't play any more games. I need to go and score right here. So up, uh, the score seven seven. I'm getting the ball in the second half. I just can't give this guy any kind of cheap points. So I decided to go and drop uh, back into some deep coverage right here. I'm, I'm in a cover nine coverage, and I do over the top coverage, and I just take my guy back here. And I'm trailing with this guy that's crossing across the middle, but he throws on his backside. And my defensive back actually makes a phenomenal play on the ball right there to get the ball down to the 50-yard line. So I'm back in, I'm in, in territory right here where I can actually go ahead and get a, a, a field goal. So I just need a couple of a couple of first downs, and I, I'm just going to go and kick my field goal and go into the second half with an opportunity to go up. So go back to the out, out and out play right here. I take a shot up top and look at this defensive back play by his, by his defensive back. Comes up strong, picks the ball up. Off. Nice little turn past the 20, breaks a tackle up to the 32 yard line, falling forward. So 13 seconds left. He's got a couple timeouts. He's got time for about two plays. He takes a nice little shot right over the middle. My defender's nowhere in the area and actually goes and takes a quick timeout. Six seconds left. So I'm thinking, okay, let him take a deep pass. I really don't care. He's not going to be able to go ahead and get the ball set. He won't be able to go and take a timeout. I'm going to be okay. So I'm actually do a little, I uh, put some uh, guys over the middle right here. He drops down, falls to the ground, and actually takes a timeout with one second left. And he's able to go and get a field goal. That field goal is going to haunt me, guys. It's going to haunt me. So. Going into the second half, down three points, back to this Raiders split back formation. This is curl flats, or this is um, uh, curl, uh, deep curls. And I'm just streaking up my one wide receiver. I, I dump it down to the flat right there because his, his defenders were coming up. So I'm just going to keep checking it down. I'm picking up uh, easy seven yards. Back to this play right here, which is the, uh, the uh, I think it's the motion post, uh, double post. And right here, once again, this post play is just huge for me. I get some major yards off this post play. It's just so easy to run, and it's, it, it just it, it just devours the defense. So uh, one of the things I noticed uh, with this deep curls play is if I do deep curl, uh, a deep comeback route, I get a little bit more separation against the defenders, and it gives me an easier completion off the back inside against cover three. So right here is the up, uh, up the, the um, uh, out and up play. I'm trying to look for that backside guy right here and actually go ahead and take. You can see this guy right here in the middle of the field. Uh, I have my running back actually on a little fly route. He was wide open for a touchdown, but he gets a block shed right there and able to go ahead and just hit me as I'm trying to get rid of the ball. So that was a huge play by his defense. So I go ahead and set it up again the same way right here. I'm looking for the running back route, and then I go ahead and take a shot up top and my, my – um, uh, wide receiver does not take, come down with it. So now I jump into a different play. This is out of doubles. This is a halfback uh, shark wheel play. I haven't shown him the, uh, to the entire game. Drop it down to the running back, and he just plows right through his defensive back. I get a nice play right there. Spin move, get it down to the four or five, uh, five yard line right here. So I, I was nabbing with this play. This play was really effective in, in, in uh, the lab mode. And the slot receiver usually gets wide open. But look at this. I throw it right to him. Giving the ball right back to the guy. I get the ball down there. I'm able to go up by four uh, four points right there. Get a touchdown. And I give the ball right back to him. So I just give it right back to him and give him an opportunity. So once again, i got to go and defend against this guy. The, the run. This guy was really, really stout against the run. He was actually using um, a lot of running plays. He wasn't giving up on it. And now he's in kind of in the driver's seat because he's up by a score. So I get him in a third and one situation. He flips flips the formation. I'm going with this heavy blitz formation. I slide off my guy to, to the left. I do um, a uh, crash down with a lineman. You got a hard uh, flat off the left-hand side to take away any kind of a flat route. And he pitches the ball out. I get a nice little block shed right there, and my, my flat route comes down and defends him. So he no huddles, and I go into a cover two version of this bigger play. 
And then he actually switches up and he goes into a five wide formation. And I think right here, I still have the, I go into cover four and um, just, I, I just stayed in coverage. I, I was out of my game but right here, but look at this block shit by Bosa off the edge. It was total CPU luck right there. So I'm able to go ahead and get the ball back on the five guard and redeem myself um, and get uh, a nice little play right here in the end zone with stick. Uh, with with my tight end, which is Gates. So 14 to 10 up, going into the fourth quarter right here. Does a little play action play and throws right at the coverage. My guy does not come down with it, but swats the ball down. I come with um, a, a man blitz. I slide over to get my guys in position, and he actually does a nice little inside run. I pull my 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 linebackers out, and he actually just runs the ball right up the middle. So really smart play by him. Good read. I don't know if he made a quick adjustment in there, if that was the play he was going to go. Does a little uh, tail route right here. Actually checks it down to Sanders, picks up first down. So now I go into cover two because he almost threw into coverage before. I'm still showing him the same blitz look right here. I'm using um, Perryman as my guy right here, showing him cover two. He's making a couple adjustments right here, and uh, he actually come. I come across across the middle right here, and he throws down to the check down. Smart read by that, but he gets bad animation. He gets the ball down on a second and eight. So I come with a heavy blitz. Uh, off the edge right here. Pressure comes streaming in, but he actually finds the corner out perfectly with his tight end, gets the ball down to the 28-yard line. So no huddles me again. I go into the man blitz version of this. This is a different type of man blitz. So I try to get some pressure off the edge. It gets picked up. I got some guys coming off the edge, but he has to get rid of the ball really quick, and his, his uh, quarterback actually hangs it up. Back to cover two again. I was just hoping I could get some magic right there with the cover two. So I'm taking Perriman. He runs the ball right there. I actually get a nice little tackle. He runs right into me. Cut third and three type of situation. Go with the man uh, pressure again. And look at this. He pops me right up with a with a fly route. Quick adjustment. And actually gets the ball in the end zone. So 14 to 17. Basically three minutes and 23 seconds left. I've got the ball back um, back on offense. I'm going to streak up my outside receiver and put him another guy in a, a deep back curl back. Uh, and right here actually gets some pressure coming after me. I go ahead and uh, go back to another play. I'm going to go back to this. Um, route this uh, motion double post route right here and once again the rope the post is open a spin move and look he's off to the races so this is what's cool about it if you get the animation of the spin move against a defensive back that's a house play it's a complete house play against cover two so this is a, that play is extremely deadly against cover two and very effective so go back into uh, 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 four, cover four, or actually uh, uh, 43 defense right now trying to get some pressure off the edge his running back picks it up and right here my defensive back actually misses he takes off and takes the ball right into the red zone so just as quickly as I score he scores again so two minutes and 59 seconds left here I'm thinking to myself, okay, I need to get the last possession against this guy. I can't give this guy any kind of time left in the game. So right here, I go and check it down to a little comeback route. I, I miss I miss time the the ball. I actually should have thrown a little bit earlier. Come back to this uh, this uh, double post play, uh, the play action motion, a double post. Go ahead and put a wheel on the backside. Got a crossing route backside. He actually goes into cover four and just completely bottles this up. And I just go ahead and get rid of the ball. I didn't I didn't have any reads after that. So, once again, coming back to um, the out and up play right here, and I'm going to go ahead and just leave my play stock, and right now I check it down to the running back, check down to that, and actually go ahead and bounce it back up for some more yards. So, Gordon's able to go and pick some pretty good yards. I go into the play action, a double post right here. Same setup as before, and now this time I'm going to fly up my backside running back, and he's got this play pretty locked up right here. I took a shot. This is a bad bad pass. You never do stuff like that. It's just a bad pass. And I just got frustrated because he, that, that that particular defense just locked it up. That matching defense locked it up completely. So now you can see the position of the defensive back was far back. So I just go and chuck the ball up for a big bomb and get the ball down on the seven yard line and just start chewing the clock against this guy. So I get the ball down there, start chewing the clock. You get it down to a minute and 18 seconds left. And his defense is not playing. It lets me go get the ball in the red zone. So all I need to do is get one stop. And he's been throwing a lot of balls deep. He look, looks for a little deep corner route. This is like the Arizona Cardinals deep uh, offense that a lot of people used a couple years ago in Madden, like real big last year. But once again, uh, he's got a little wheel route wide open, but my defensive back comes out there and plays it. Third and ten situation, I figure I got you know I got to go and put some pressure on this guy. I've got to force him to make a play. And right here, he hits me with the screen play. What a call! Screen play to go and get a first down right there. I was not expecting it. Went with some massive pressure, and he goes to the screen, goes back to the level sail right here and that throws it right into me and uh, I tackle him right there 39 seconds left 38 
I'm expecting the level sail off to the right hand side, so I, I flood the flood the zone. He he's got two in routes where he's got actually multiple in routes right there. Hits uh, Sanders right on the middle. He's got it down to the 40. He takes a timeout. 20 seconds, 27 seconds left. Going to cover two. I'm hoping he actually throw in the coverage. I want to go and flood the middle of the field, and he actually does like a, a crossing route. Look at his dot right here. Drops it down to the 15 yard line. He actually puts it in perfectly. So I got some pressure coming off the edge right here. Does a little screen play, and right here I actually go and tackle him. That was a, a ballsy call because, look, he took his last time out. 14 seconds left. He's going back. I'm looking for level sail right now. I'm trying to block up the side. I'm following this guy across the middle. Then I see he's going to come back to right here, and I totally misjudge it, and he catches the ball in the red zone with time expiring in the game to go up by a score and get me in the game. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for support, guys. I do post my loss, but it's a brand new offensive book to me. Brand new. I was messing around with my defense, and I take the L, but thanks a lot for your support, guys, and until next time.